Good morning and welcome to a day in the life of a software engineer. I start off my day at around 6.30 and make myself a nice warm water mixed with honey and lemon to get myself hydrated. After some light reading, I get ready and head straight to the gym and do my 20 kilometer run every morning. I promise it's harder than it looks. After my run, I spend some time in the sauna and do some lane swimming before heading back and making my super healthy shake filled with nutrients like daily greens, fruits, proteins, creatine, seeds, and more before planning out my day in my notebook. It's a super busy day today as I'm building a new project. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of my desk setup. So the chair is from Autonomous. This is the Autonomous Ergo Plus Pro chair. The keyboard and mouse is from Logitech. This is the MX Master 3. That's the MX Mechanical Mini. Also got the Apple Magic trackpad. I'm also using the Audio Engine Plus 2 speakers. We've got an Elgato ring light. And then I've got my 16 inch M1 MacBook Pro on top of this Grove Made monitor shelf. Uh, desk mat is also from Grove Made. These are also from Grove Made. And yeah, that is a quick whistle stop tour. The desk is from Ikea, and then all my voiceovers are recorded on this Shure SM7, I think it is. All the items are actually linked in my description, so if you wanna check them out, then you can do. Now in the morning, before I start working, I use this time to upskill myself and learn new technologies. And data is everywhere around us. And as a software engineer, I always try and keep up with where technology is heading. And big data is huge right now and will continue to grow. So it makes sense for me to build a deeper understanding of this space. I'm currently going through this data analytics course with Coursera. What I love about the Coursera courses is that they get you ready for entry level jobs within the industry. And after each week on the Google Data Analytics course, you have a weekly challenge to complete, taking in everything you've learned across the week and putting it into a project. Now to learn more about the Google Data Analytics course, you can click the link in my bio and it'll take you directly to the course on Coursera. After my morning of learning big data, I head out towards the office. Here is me in the lift getting ready to be ultra productive. I'm using the WeWork co-working spaces and found them a good way to be a lot more focused and get more work done. I unpack my M1 MacBook Pro and take my AirPods out and remove my coat. I open up my MacBook Pro and make sure it still works and is connected to the Wi-Fi. Then head to get myself a nice cold drink of water along with some well-needed caffeine. I mix my coffee with a dash of milk and finally I'm ready to get some work done. Right now I'm building a new product which is an AI assistant for YouTubers and at the moment I'm working out which tech stack to use to build the MVP and after some research I've decided to create the repo and create my React app with TypeScript and use AWS serverless on the back end. This means I can focus purely on the application development rather than worrying about the infrastructure maintenance in AWS. Even though I am skilled in AWS, it still makes sense to not worry too much about the infrastructure as serverless will scale automatically and is secure by default. I've used TypeScript before, so I can use TypeScript for the application development and also TypeScript for setting up the serverless infrastructure with AWS CDK. Basically, I'm using full stack TypeScript and it's going to be super efficient. So I'm going to share what a typical day looks like as a software engineer and also how software engineering teams work together to build products and services. So typically every morning around nine or 10, depending on your team, you will have a morning stand-up. Every morning you and your team come together and attend the stand-up. Now the stand-up is you, your team, your scrum master, your product manager, just coming together and giving updates on the work that you're doing. At the stand-up, you'd have your board, which will have your tasks. And then essentially all you do is you, you're assigned tickets or tasks and you just give updates. For example, you might be stuck on your task and you might need some help. The stand-up is a great way to update people in your team with what you're working on, if you're stuck, if you need any help or anything else around that. And typically the scrum master runs the stand-up and goes through the tickets and makes sure everyone has what they need in order to build the ticket or the task that they're working on. 
As soon as you've done your morning stand-up, from then onwards, you'll just be building the piece of functionality or the task that you've been assigned by your Scrum Master and your product manager. And of course, throughout the day, if you need any help, you can ask the people around you as well. There will be occasional other meetings that you need to attend, but typically, that is more for the Scrum Master to attend on your behalf. The software engineering teams that I've worked in are actual cross-functional teams, which means that we have the abilities within the team to build a product end-to-end. -end. So we'd have an architect, we'd have a designer, we have a front-end engineer, we have a back-end engineer, we'd have a tester, we'd have all the skills that we need in order to deliver a product. And that's really how most software engineering teams are set up. There will be some organizations that aren't set up like that, and they have separate teams, separate engineers working in different areas, and that becomes very difficult to build projects because really, if you need help from a designer, you wanna just look around, tap them on the shoulder and say, hey, I need some help, rather than having to go through loads of hoops and teams and managers to get that assistance. Now, depending on your team and the company that you work for, you might work in sprints. Now sprints are essentially a period of time where you commit to a deliverable that you're going to be working on. Now typically in the teams that I've worked in, we'd have two week sprints. At the start of the sprint, we would commit to the work that we're going to be working on over the next two weeks. So the whole team would come together with your product manager and you'd understand the priorities that you're going to be working on over the next two weeks. So that'd be at the start, you plan, and then you work on the task and the deliverables that your team has committed to for the two week sprint. And then at the end of the sprint, you would demo your work to the product managers, the business, and the clients that need to see that work. And then they sign it off, or they might say, actually, we want you to tweak this here and there. And then you could take up that work into the next sprint. That's a very simple way of explaining how software engineering teams work. It is a lot more complex than that. But to be honest, I think to the majority of you guys that are new to coding and programming and don't really know how engineering teams work in businesses, that's a good way to understand it. I'll put in some links in my description so you can check out some more information if you want to. Also, let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this, maybe I'll change this channel to a tech and cloud and software engineering learning channel. Maybe that's the direction I'll take this, but let me know in the comments. After some light lunch, I carry on with my work and continue to build this TypeScript project and map out the components that I'm going to be using which were created by the product designer. I also install the styled components and start building out the homepage for my AI assistant. As you can see, I'm very focused and building a new product is going to be super challenging but rewarding. If you want to keep updated on my progress, definitely consider subscribing as there'll be more videos about this and I also need to start worrying about my posture when I'm working. I'm so excited to be launching this product and some of you guys are going to be the first ever users of the AI Assistant. When I get home after a long hard day, I typically carry on and do some more work for an hour or two. This can be my coding project or editing a YouTube video. I then finish off by watching Ertugul on Netflix and read my first principles book, which is the first book I'm reading in 2023. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.